I'm currently in the operating theatre and this is where the knee replacement operation will take place. On the day of surgery, the patient would be seen by myself, make sure they're adequately prepared for surgery, consented and the limb appropriately marked. They're then seen by the anesthetist and the decision will be made whether to give the patient a general anesthetic or whether they're going to have a regional anesthetic, i.e. they will be numb from the waist down. In a total knee replacement, we make a midline incision in the front of the knee, open up the soft tissues, protecting the, the ligaments. The incision for a total knee replacement is 15 to 18 centimeters. For a partial knee replacement, it'll be a lot smaller. Once the uh, bone is exposed, the diseased bone is removed in order to realign the knee. Specialized equipment can either be used through the center of the bone or around the bone in order to realign the knee. There are then several components used and they are different sizes uh, appropriate to the patient's anatomy. So you have different sized femoral components, different sized tibial components, depending on the width uh, and depth of the bone, um, and then the insert that's put on top of the tibial instrument are of different thicknesses. And you use the appropriate thickness to get the right soft tissue tension around the prosthesis. So the final prosthesis, when it's put together, you will have the femoral component and the tibial insert will be firmly applied to the tibial base plate. It locks in. And that will then be attached onto the patient's bone. So that attachment can either be with or without cement. So this is how the prosthesis will be fitted on. It will look like that. So the final knee replacement will look like this. A knee replacement operation can take anything from one hour to one hour, 45 minutes. It depends whether you're using cement or not. If the operation is without cement, it's a lot faster. The wound is sewn up with a dissolvable suture at the end of surgery. The patient is then taken into the recovery room and they're kept there until they're fully awake and they are comfortable. Once that has occurred, they're then transferred up to their room. Once they're in the room, they'll be seen by the physiotherapist and uh, advise relevant exercises. Uh, physiotherapy begins on the day of surgery. Patients are expected to be in hospital anything from five to seven days. Day one involves reducing uh, the bandage around the knee. The patients are then gradually uh, gotten up from the bed and mobilized progressively until they're safe enough to be discharged home. Patients routinely have blood tests and also a check x-ray. And here uh, is an example of a post-operative x-ray. And what you want to see is to see that this prosthesis is well applied to the bone. The risk of a blood clot in the leg persists after surgery because patients are not yet up to normal mobility. And therefore, they will require a medication to thin the blood until they're mobilizing normally. Following surgery, I review my knee replacement patients daily. And once discharged for home, I will review them at six weeks in the outpatient clinic. If a patient was previously absolutely fit and well and only had part of a joint replaced, then by six weeks, they could be back to normal activity. If a patient's had a full total knee replacement and they have other joint involvement and they're an elderly patient, it can take three months to get back to full recovery. Orthopedic surgeries, particularly in the area that I work in, is extremely rewarding. Uh, patients who've had hip and knee replacement surgery, the benefits are seen straight away. Uh, firstly, a reduction in pain, a reduction in deformity, if there is one, and an increased mobility.